As a leading clover lawn influencer, my ones of fans are always asking, how is the grass to clover lawn transformation going? What's the latest? Talk to me about clover. So here you go. My two main takeaways, one and a half years into this experiment. Number one, clover doesn't grow in places where grass doesn't grow. Bad soil is bad soil. Uh, the backyard near the tree line and the side of the house near the trash bins are pretty good examples of that. Number two, clover is not nearly as invasive as I had hoped. It hasn't taken over my yard or the neighbor's yard. Now to recap how I got here, I dethatched and overseeded with micro clover in spring 2022 and I watered it a lot as it got rooted. Um, the clover came in uh, that spring, summer, and it did okay, but not one to give up. I overseeded again in fall of 2022. It's now mid-April 2023, and I am seeing more clover coverage, and I haven't watered it all this year, don't plan to. Uh, maybe the spring seeds finally took off. Maybe it was the fall seeds. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll be overrun with clover in 2024. We'll see. Mowing. Uh, unless you go with a 100% clover lawn, you'll need to mow it as often as regular grass. Otherwise, it just looks really unkept and uneven. I mow mine with a mulching mower weekly with the blade set very high. This basically evens out the tall grass without cutting the clover much, and it looks smooth and lush. Um, and I have stopped bagging the clipping since the clover is supposed to be its own fertilizer. Other miscellaneous thoughts, micro clover versus standard clover. The pro for micro clover is that they do have a small leaf size, which blends in with the grass. Con, the seed is twice as expensive as regular clover. I haven't purchased regular clover for overseeding, but I wouldn't rule it out in the future. Fertilizer. I use zero fertilizer or herbicide, and my lawn is as green uh, full as ever, and as green full as my neighbor with a traditional lawn with aerating and fertilizing. Weeds. Uh, because I don't use any herbicides, I, I do have some dandelions and miscellaneous other weeds. Um, it is a poly, not a monoculture lawn, so with clover will come some weeds. I will occasionally spot treat some of the really large uh, broadleaf weeds. You'll see a few brown spots in the video but I don't think it's a war worth fighting on a larger scale. So what's next? I may put a two to one compost sand mix over some of the bare spots to see if that helps things fill in. And I'm also toying with the idea of tilling up a border next to the wood line and throwing down a bunch of wildflower seeds. Um, but that may or may not happen. All in all, I'd call it a marginal success, less time and money on upkeep, looks as good or better as ever, and it's better for the wildlife. Well, that's about it, so let me know if you have any questions, and um, maybe I'll post here again in another year. Thanks.